Hi, welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we will look at some uh, more advanced examples on curves. Okay, so in example number one, we have a curve and a line. Okay, and we are asked to find the points of intersection. So take note that when a curve and a line intersect, we can equate them, equate their equations together, okay, or solve or basically just solve them simultaneously. Okay, so what do I mean by this? So let me just write down the equation of the curve, which is y equals to x squared, and the equation of the line, which is just y equals to 3x plus 4. Okay, so to solve these two equations simultaneously, let me just sub equation number 1 into equation number 2. Okay, so this will give me x squared equals to 3x plus 4, shifting everything to the left, okay, and factorizing, okay, sorry, I will get these two answers for x, and at this point in time, I need to make a decision as to whether the x coordinate, okay, should be 4 or negative 1 for point A. Okay, since point A lies on the right-hand side of the y-axis, so I need to say the x-coordinate of A must be positive, so I can guess that the x-coordinate of A must be 4. Okay, and since point B is over here, then I can guess that the x-coordinate of B must be negative 1. Okay, so let me continue to solve for the corresponding values of y. So y is x squared as given by equation number 1 over here. So y is 16 or y is 1, okay? So therefore, when x is negative 1, y is 1. So the coordinates of b is negative 1, 1, and the coordinates of a is 4, 16, okay? As you can see at the screen over here, okay? So at this point in time, we'll move on to look at part b, okay? To find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of a, b. Okay, so let me just ask you guys a question. Do you all remember how to find the equation of any line? So to find the equation of any line, you basically need the gradient, which is given by M, as well as a point on the line, a point on the line. Okay, so we will go ahead and look for these two items in, you know, in order to solve part B. So let us first find the gradient of line AB. So by reading off equation number two over here, okay, you can see that the gradient of line AB is given by three, okay? And since we want the perpendicular bisector, which probably looks like this, let me use a different color to make it clearer. Okay, so the, the, the perpendicular of line AB will probably look something like this where this is a 90 degrees and these two distances are the same. Okay, so let's call this line number two. Okay, so what we're looking for in part B is essentially line number two. Okay, so in line number one, okay, over here, the gradient is three. So line the gradient of line number one multiplied by the gradient of line number two will give me negative one because they are perpendicular. Okay, so this is three, Okay, and I can solve for the gradient of line number two, which is just negative one third. Okay, now the next question is which point, or rather what point, lies on this line of the perpendicular bisector? So you realize that the line, the point that lies on the perpendicular bisector is the midpoint of AB. So the midpoint of AB is just given by this equation. So the x coordinate of a plus the x coordinate of b divided by 2, then the y coordinate of a plus the y coordinate of b divided by 2. Okay, so simplifying this, I will have I will have 3 over 2 and 17 over 2. Okay, so we will sub these few items or rather these few pieces of information into the graph, okay, rather into the equation, y equals to mx plus c. Okay, so I sub this into y equals mx plus c, and this will give me y equals to mx 
plus C. Okay, so solving this, C is just 9. Okay, so finally, let me write out the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So the equation of the perpendicular bisector, okay, just now I denote as L2, is just Y equals to M, which is the gradient, X plus C. Okay, so this is the equation, this is the answer for part B. Okay, moving on to part C, we want the ratio of AM to MB. First and foremost, let us identify the coordinates of point M. So the point M lies on the y-axis, which essentially is just the y-intercept of the line y equals to 3x plus 4. So this is the y-intercept, so therefore, the coordinates of M is 0, 4. Okay, so to find the ratio, we will find the distance AM. Okay, so distance AM is given by this formula. So distance formula is the coordinates of A, x coordinate of A minus x coordinate of M square plus the y coordinate of A minus the y coordinate of M square. Okay, and just uh, simplifying this, I'll have this form over here. Okay, so if you are unable to get this 4 root 10, actually you can just leave it as square root of 1 16 plus 144, 4, okay, which is just simply the square root of 160, okay? Okay, so moving on, let's find the distance MB. So this distance MB, okay, is given by this formula, similar formula as well. So y coordinate of M minus, sorry, x, okay, y coordinate of M minus y coordinate of B squared plus the x coordinate of M minus the x coordinate of B squared. Okay, and simplifying this, I'll just get root of 10. Okay, so let's get, let's find the ratio that we want. So AM to MB is just square root, okay, or 4 square root 10 is to square root 10. And simplifying this, we'll just get 4 is to 1. Okay, so let's move on to the next example.